If you search what is Linux, many popular websites will tell you Linux is an operating system. Well, technically, Linux is just a kernel, not an operating system. However, the term Linux is often referred to a complete operating system that includes a shell and command line or GUI tools to control the system. An operating system or OS is like the boss of your computer. It tells all the parts, like the CPU and memory, what to do and when. It also manages your files and lets you run programs. The most common ones you might have heard of are Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, each with its own style and job. Think of it as the traffic cop for your computer, making sure everything runs smoothly. If you consider operating system as a car, basically Linux is like the engine of a car, not the whole car itself. But when people talk about Linux, they often mean the entire car, including the seats, steering wheel, and everything else you need to drive it. Technically, the correct name for this full car is a Linux distribution or Linux distro. Some well-known ones are Debian, Fedora, and Arch. Do you know this guy? His name is Linus Torvalds. Linus Torvalds is a Finnish-American computer scientist and software engineer who is best known for creating the Linux kernel. He was born on December 28, 1969, in Helsinki, Finland. In 1991, while studying at the University of Helsinki, Linus Torvalds began working on the Linux kernel as a personal project. He released the initial version of the kernel as open source software, which means that anyone could view, modify, and distribute the source code freely. This open source approach led to a global community of developers contributing to the kernel's development, resulting in the growth and widespread adoption of Linux as an operating system. Linus Torvalds continues to be the chief maintainer of the Linux kernel, overseeing its development and providing guidance to the community of contributors. His work on Linux has had a profound impact on the world of computing, as Linux is now used in a wide range of applications, from servers and supercomputers to smartphones and embedded systems. Linus Torvalds is regarded as one of the most influential figures in the open source software movement. Let's look at the brief history of Linux, year by year, starting from its inception. Before the advent of Linux, computing was primarily dominated by proprietary operating systems like Unix, IBM's mainframe operating systems, DEC's mini computer operating systems, and personal computer platforms running systems like MS-DOS and Macintosh system software. These operating systems were typically closed source, limiting user access and modification. Linux introduced a free and open source alternative with Unix-like features, garnering a global community of developers and users and challenging the closed source paradigm, particularly in the server and embedded systems domains, revolutionizing the computing landscape. In this year, Linux is born. Linus Torvalds, a student at the University of Helsinki in Finland, announces the creation of a new free and open source operating system kernel. On September 17th, Torvalds releases Linux version 0.01. In 1992, Linux gains popularity. Developers worldwide started contributing to the project, and the first complete Linux distributions, such as MCC Interim Linux and SLS or Soft Lending Linux system, emerge. Over 100 developers are working on the Linux kernel. The first official Linux kernel Linux 1.0 is released on March 14th, marking a significant milestone for the project. Around this time, the GNU General Public License or GPL becomes the official license for Linux. The oldest currently existing Linux distribution, Slackware, is released for the first time on July 16, 1993. Wine, a compatibility layer to run Windows program on Linux, began in this year under the initial coordination of Bob Amstad as a way to support running Windows 3.1 programs on Linux. The X Windows system, X386, is integrated into Linux, making it possible to run graphical user interfaces. Companies like Red Hat and Caldera, which is later called SCO, 
released their own commercial Linux distributions, marking Linux's entry into the business world. Linux begins to gain popularity as a server operating system, particularly for web servers, thanks to its stability and cost effectiveness. The KDE and GNOME desktop environments are introduced, enhancing the Linux desktop experience and making it more user-friendly. The first version of the Linux Mint distribution is released. Major corporations like IBM and Oracle express support for Linux, boosting its credibility as an enterprise-class operating system. Google releases the Android operating system based on a modified Linux kernel for mobile devices. Ubuntu, a user-friendly Linux distribution, is released, aiming to make Linux more accessible to everyday users. Android-powered smartphones, led by the release of the first iPhone, begin to dominate the mobile market. Wayland, a display server aims to replace Xorg, released on September 30th, 2008. Linux becomes the most popular operating system for supercomputers, powering over 90% of the top 500 machines. Docker is introduced, revolutionizing software packaging and deployment with container technology. The 1.0.0 versions of Wayland and Weston were released this year. Microsoft announces support for running Linux on Windows, signaling a significant shift in their approach to open source software. Spectre and Meltdown Vulnerabilities Linux is among the operating systems affected by these major CPU vulnerabilities, leading to extensive patching efforts. All of the top 500 list of fastest supercomputers run Linux. IBM's acquisition of Red Hat, one of the largest open source software companies, underscores the significance of Linux in the enterprise world. Valve's Proton project and improvements in graphics drivers lead to increased support for gaming on Linux. Linux kernel version 5.0 is released. Linux distributions like Ubuntu, Fedora, and Linux Mint continue to gain popularity as viable alternatives to proprietary desktop operating systems. The Linux community marks the 30th anniversary of the Linux kernel's initial release, highlighting its enduring impact on technology and collaboration. Linux kernel version 6.0 is released. According to the open source trends for 2023, Linux will continue to gain popularity despite being well recognized in the technical world currently. In light of the rising popularity of cloud computing and related technologies, the Linux trend is one to be on the lookout for. According to Gartner, 80% of the programs that are internally built either use cloud computing or are cloud native. Linux is regarded as the most widely utilized operating system by businesses in the realm of cloud computing. The future of Linux is promising, with ongoing growth in areas such as cloud computing, edge computing, and containerization. Linux's role in artificial intelligence, security, and IoT is set to expand. Efforts to improve the desktop user experience and compatibility with proprietary software may broaden its appeal to mainstream users. Major tech companies continue to contribute to the Linux ecosystem, ensuring its vitality, while open source collaboration is likely to foster innovation and the development of new technologies, solidifying Linux's position as a versatile and influential operating system. That's it for today. What do you think about Linux? Let me know in the comments. Please share with your friends if you like this video. And remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life, so stay strong and don't forget to start over if you need. It's Cube, signing off.